Look at this, Rodanthe on Sunday, big surf, big waves. Let's not forget homes that have gone into the ocean from storms past. We saw one happen with Ernesto. Uh, so we're watching these because the beach communities are being impacted at this hour for sure. Yeah, let's bring in Fox Weather Storm Specialist Mike Seidel. He's in North Carolina, Wrightsville Beach. You know, Mike, we're, we're watching radar trends and that group of thunderstorms is gonna move over right where you are. It doesn't look like a lot of fun to go through. No, we're going to have the lightning, the thunder, and that's where we'll probably have our gustier winds. And just a little while ago, there was a marine warning south of Cape Fear for the potential for water spouts. And again, when these move on shore, that's a tornado. We'll see how that shakes out. But as you mentioned, the center where they're locating at the hurricane center, it's naked. There's nothing around it. So the odds of certainly decreasing by the minute of this thing getting a name. But the bottom line is it really doesn't matter. The impacts are the same. We've got some locally moderate rain here, some spots heavier, uh, but not a whole lot of wind. I'm out here on the beach exposed to the northeast wind and maybe some 15 to 20 mile an hour gusts. But boy, it's really not blowing that much. It was blowing harder yesterday when I was here. And on Saturday, too, we had wind sustained up over 30 miles an hour. The surf is the big story this morning. The visual impressive surf here at Wrightsville. We just had a high tide about 25 minutes ago and we've got uh, some erosion here uh, all the way down this cut about 12, maybe 18 inches in places. So we've lost some sand and they just had a big beach replenishment project earlier this year. So uh, that's what they do on these beaches. Carolinas up through Maryland, Delaware, Jersey. Corps of Engineer comes in here and they just pump sand back in. This is a wide beach at low tide. It goes way, way out. And notice the water just about up to the lifeguard stand uh, here at Wrightsville Beach. Rainfall continues to come in, rotating around uh, the ill-defined center of PTC-8. And that will be the uh, story not only on the coast, but inland and all the way back to Raleigh, Durham and the uh, Greensboro area. There's a flood watch up there uh, through tomorrow morning. So the rain will continue to move across 95, across I-40. Here, the Coastal Flood Advisory expires at 9 a.m. They put that up, the Weather Service out of Wilmington for the high tide we just had. And yes, the water was higher than average, maybe a foot, maybe two feet, but certainly uh, no impact on any land or any, uh, any of the businesses, homes and hotels here at the beach. Craig and Britta. Yeah, Mike, I, you just went through high tide, I guess, not long ago, about 640 or so, maybe 20, 25 minutes ago. So I guess that works for us as we go through the afternoon, but we've still got a whole lot of rain just off the coast headed your direction right now. Yeah, it's going to be all about the rain and the uh, surf is the visual. The rain inland, again, watch out for the ponding, uh, localized flash flooding. We'll see if we have any severe weather. Uh, last time I checked, SPC, the Storm Prediction Center, had not put out a tornado watch yet. Uh, you can update me on that because uh, I not checked out 15, watch. 20 minutes ago. Yeah, no watch Not yet. yet. So at this point, we will uh, keep an eye on that as those storms come in, the lightning and thunder. And we've got a place to stay safe uh, if we need to run for cover to get away from the lightning here at the Johnny Mercer's Pier. It's seen uh, a lot of storms. In mm -hmm. fact, this version was built after Bertha and Fran in 1996. Uh, Fran came in as a uh, Cat 3. By the way, uh, I was thinking about what was going on in the past. And it was, believe it or not, 25 years ago, earlier this morning, I was standing right across uh, the waterway, the intercoastal on the Wilmington side as Hurricane Floyd made landfall down at oh, Cape yeah. Fear as a Cat 2. Mm. 25 years ago this morning, wow. September 16th, yep. 1999. And it seems like it was just, well, yesterday. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's the only major hurricane, well, not major, but it's the only hurricane I've been in the eye where it just, you know, the rain completely ended. The temperature went up 10 degrees and the birds were flying around. It was uh, pretty yeah, eerie. Yeah, cleared out uh, high. The eye last week, yeah, the, the eye last week and the eye in Steenhatchee with Debbie was what we call dirty eye. The winds did back off and the rain stopped, but it wasn't anything like uh, Floyd back uh, 25 years ago this morning. Mm. Yeah, it's wild to sort of look back. These coastal communities really mark life by the storms that they have lived through. Mike, before we let you go, I do want to talk about uh, just the naming culture here. So when we don't actually have a name for a storm, I, I do feel like people sometimes can act differently. And I think some people just get too caught up on it having a name instead of focusing on the impact. I mean, for folks that live in Wilmington, it's gonna feel like a tropical storm day, you know, nothing that they can't get through by any means, but an indoor day. 
Uh, do you think that it makes a difference, the, the fact that this might not actually become Helene, how people act? Uh, it does. It doesn't get the message out as fast. You know, now with social media and hashtags, mm -hmm. and once it gets a name, you know, you've got a name and it gets in the press. But if you don't have a name, it's not as, you know, as they say, not as sexy. And, you know, the Hurricane Center started doing the PTC, Potential Tropical Cyclone, a few years ago so they can issue watches and warnings ahead of something that may not actually be even a depression or a storm uh, mm -hmm. at that point. So that's why they do this. Uh, it is a little confusing, but it's more for a heads up on the watches and warnings and uh, not only uh, tropical storm watches and warnings, uh, hurricane watches and also the storm surge yeah. impact. We don't have yeah. any storm surge watches and warnings with this one, thankfully. Yeah, thankfully this one's going to be a little more minor when it comes to surge impact. But thanks for having the conversation. I think it's important to have. Yeah. And just a good reminder for folks that are watching us, you know, it, it always comes down to what you're feeling. And here at Fox Weather, we talk about the impact. It's what you're going to feel today. So there's Mike Seidel. You can tell the feel that he's got right now. <laughs> Not the best for a Monday. <laughs> this is it. Stay safe, by the way, Mike, when those yeah, thunderstorms is... come on shore. We'll make sure that we check in with you when they do. Oh, yeah, we'll be right here, and uh, we'll, we'll bring it to you uh, as, as soon as we see lightning. We have not seen any lightning yet. I think it's it, just a little too far offshore, but we will be right here, and we'll bring them to you. Sounds right, good, Mike. Take care. Stay safe.